Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more of Destiny Rise of Iron. Well, it's not officially out yet, but before we get to some even more huge news from Rise of Iron, we have two new posters that you get to see here first. Both of them are September covers, which are now revealed for the game launch on September 20th. And of course, thank you to Matt Miller for the uh, for the uh, poster notifications. Uh, oh, I'll give you a quick little close-up there. That's for the first cover right there. And of course, here's the other one that you get to see right there. That's the second of two uh, September covers. And those would be pretty good posters that you can put on your bed if, if they ever do uh, the game cover posters. <laughs> Just like that. So those are the two posters which are part of the September covers for Destiny Rise of Iron. Now, the next news that we need to know about is Destiny Artifacts to be receiving a dramatic overall. Now I'm going to be reading these three paragraphs over here. While players can still use and infuse older artifacts, Rise of Iron has introduced eight new artifacts that can be class agnostic and able to be freely used with any class and subclass. So. In other words, the subclasses could be Stormcaller, um, Sunbreaker, etc., etc. Now, each of the new artifacts now connects to a particular member of the deceased Iron Lords. For example, Felwinter, Childer, or Scory. Another big news here, you notice the new social area called the Playlands, which will be happening on Earth? Well, we got a new character in the game called Tyra Karn. She's now the new centerpiece for Guardians that are looking to acquire the new Iron Lord artifacts. She sends the players out into the Playlands to commit mighty deeds in memory of the Iron Lords, a task that would be pretty straightforward for anyone who engages with the new content. Now, upon completing that first task there, you get an item which is called the Iron Lord's Legacy. Now, I'm not, not sure if that's one of the new artifacts there, but it could, but in turn, it can be used to acquire one of three additional artifacts that Tyra has in any given week. Now, for the course of eight weeks or more for play, you might be able to get all eight of those new artifacts. Sounds pretty darn cool, but it gets even cooler. Each of those artifacts now has a game-changing ability attached to it. One of them will offer the option to melee enemy units and gain their allegiance for a short time. The second one eliminates your super, excuse me, but it does give you either two grenades, two malaise, and an increase in all your stats. However, each of the artifacts can be combined with exotic weapons and armor, as well as some subclasses to create new and interesting build options. Moreover now, every one of the new artifacts is meant to evoke the character of the Iron Lord for which it is named, and for instance, Jolder tend to charge headlong into danger. So the artifact eliminates the sprint charge delay. Oh, that sounds pretty darn cool. So getting some nice new artifacts coming September 20th should be pretty darn good. By the way, I'm just using Microsoft Edge there because uh, it's a little bit easier to uh, do a little commentary on it than just engage in gameplay, which has like plenty, and s plenty of sound and such and such. Now, this is the big one that we got. Well, actually, there's two big ones here. The first one here is the progression of the light level. The details have now been merged for Destiny Rise of Iron. Now, here's here's a couple of big sentences that we're going to be talking about right here. I'm going to read th uh, about three of these paragraphs here. That one, that one, and that one. Now, the character level will stay at 40. However, the light values are now jumping from the current light cap, as of right now, which is 335, the new light level increase for now is going to be increased to 385, and uh, the cap, the the new light level cap will be increased to 400 when the hard mode version of the raid is going to be launching. Now I'll I'll explain the new raid name in a minute. So again, current light cap will go up to 385, but with the new raid coming out. It'll be increased to 400 when the hard mode version of the raid comes out. So the Norway version right now goes up to 385. 
when the horrible version comes out, it's going to be increased by another 15 light levels. So it's going to be up to 400 when it officially comes out after Rise of Iron's launch. And by the way, it's going to be coming out uh, three days after launch, but I'll, I'll explain more of that in a moment. Obviously, we got uh, weapons here, new, rare, legendary, and exotics. Uh, these will help players ascend through new tiers, and the system that they observe for items is to be very familiar to what's been named in the game for some time now. Also, a brand new Rise of Iron record book will be tracking your progress throughout the entirety of the expansion, which will be echoing familiar systems that were pretty much used for last year's SRL events. So, for example, if you had like an SRL record book, if you could complete all the tasks in there, you'll get some nice rewards. But here on the Rise of Iron record book, well, good thing we don't, <laughs> good thing we don't have to do any uh, SRL stuff there. And, uh, and apparently, if you're going to get an SRL book, it's going to cost you silver. So, good thing I didn't go with that. But, eh, who cares about it? Uh, the more recent uh, Moments of Triumph Year 2 record book sets, just pretty much just the same there. So, like, for example, there, if you complete, like, mm, six of the eight challenges right there then you can get like three rewards there that's an example from moments of triumph which i already have a video up for it already the record book now has disc discrete tasks to be completed throughout the rise of iron content and if you complete any tasks it adds to your overall percentage completions of the record book which will give you completion points you also get new armor emblems and a lot more now the next paragraph here. In addition, Bungie shared that it's rele releasing excuse me, a large number of new weapons and complete armor sets. And obviously, as mentioned, new weapons and armor sets, w w sets excuse me, which is legendaries and exotics, etc. And obviously, in the raid, it can be cannot be complete without new raid weapons and raid armor sets. Now, I don't know what they are yet, but hopefully, we'll get more on this hopefully in the next few weeks or so. Now, new sets are officially on offer for the Iron Banner PvP events. And of course, in Iron Banner PvP, PlayStation does get the exclusives, Xbox doesn't. I know, Xbox, that's a bit of a bummer, but oh well, I don't do Iron Banner and PvP, so <laughs> thank God. Um, other sets will be from the Iron Lords, which obviously will be attained from the record book. Trials of Osiris, the raid is mentioned, and it's now been named called Wrath of the Machines, so I'll explain that in a minute. There's also going to be a new arena event called Archon's Forge. Now, that's pretty much uh, the same as Prison of Elders. Maybe it's a little bit different, but I don't know for sure, but they do have a new arena event called Archon's Forge. So I cannot wait to try that out uh, when it officially launches. This is going to be very, very good. Also, new options for all the factions as well, which, for example, and thank you to Bar Console for, for the video there, he explained that the, um, there's going to be faction ghosts. So, for example, faction ghosts, which increase your reputation for Vanguard, um, Future War Call, Crucible, a lot of stuff there. It will allow the players to enhance the ge geometry and appearance of individual armor pieces as well, which could change the appearance of exotic weapons. Who knows? Actually, that that's a new uh, ornament there. Uh, <laughs> I'm just not reading it right, but anyway. Uh, so we got that out of the way. Now, before we move... Blah! Before we move <laughs> on to the... Oh, man. I think I should be on an appearance of how do words good. <laughs> anyway. Before we move on to the last big event, and the last piece of news, um, the new raid, the new Fallen Raid, which will take place in the Plaguelands on Earth, that new raid name is called Wrath of the Machine. That's what it says right there. Wrath of the Machine. That's what's official right there. And it is legit. Cannot wait to try that new raid out. It is going to be amazing. Now, moving on to the last piece of news, like I said, I'm just using Microsoft Edge. Uh, the last big piece of news is that Bungie is revealing some Destiny plans after Rise of Iron. So, uh, here's what they've said there. They've been talking about his plans beyond September. 
So fans from last year's Halloween themed event, oh boy, if you want Festival of the Lost to come, well, good news Guardians. Festival of the Lost is returning to Destiny sometime in October. You can get some new masks to chase, plus a lot of big surprises down there as well. Also, that's not the only thing here, but after that's over, Bungie has revealed and announced, and if you guys like Sparrow Racing League in it, actually in my opinion, there was some good news and bad news about Sparrow Racing League. Good news is, we get to see it, and there was actually two pretty good tracks there. But the bad news is there was only like two test tracks there. Well, I think Bungie is happy to announce that Sparrow Racing League is returning in December of 2016. New tracks will be on the way, which is inspired by Rise of Iron's, uh, Rise of Iron's environments. Beyond the racing experience, it is eager to expand the winter event into something very, very huge. And of course, Jerry Hook uh, pretty much explaining about uh, bringing SRL coming back and everything else right there. So you can just read that um, paragraph there if you wish. Okay, so there we are. So this is definitely going to be absolutely huge for Rise of Iron. Absolutely amazing. So there you go. SRL is returning. Festival of the Lost is returning. We have a new um, Archon Forges Arena event here. Raft the Machine is now legit. That's called the new raid there. Artifacts, we already explained it. And actually, before I go, before I go, there's one more piece of information. I know people are telling me, why aren't you telling me any PvP stuff? Well, I'm here to announce that the next new PvP mode in Destiny Rise of Iron, it is called Supremacy. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, Supremacy is the brand new PvP mode in Destiny Rise of Iron. Now, it's, it's almost like Rift and Capture the Flag combined, but I haven't seen any gameplay of it there. But you can check out the new trailer from Game Informer. It's only going to be like a minute long there, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's, al it's almost like a combination of Rift and uh, Capture the Flag, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So the new PvP mode, it is confirmed. It is called Supremacy. That's the brand new PvP mode. Ladies and gentlemen, oh man, we are just weeks away until Rise of Iron officially comes out. It's coming out September 20th for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I cannot wait to get my hands on the next expan expansion, excuse me, play that brand new story, the new PvP mode, all that jazz. It's going to be a great year three, but as we mentioned, it is, we're just warming up, ladies and gentlemen, we're only into year three of ten, so who knows what we'll see from Destiny 2, 3, 4, and so on throughout this, uh, 10-year ride with Bungie slash, slash Destiny. It's got to be amazing. So this would be an excellent time to subscribe to the channel here, folks. We're trying to get to 200 subs. I know I've been saying it for weeks, but I need your help, guys. If you want Destiny Rise of Iron to be wonderful, you got to subscribe to the channel here. I'll try and keep you covered every step of the way. That's all i got to bring you guys for now. But before I go, once more... Gamescom 2016 is coming our way between August 17th through the 21st, and the next Rise of Iron stream will be there in Cologne, Germany. So expect a stream to happen very, very soon. So that's it for now, folks. Until next time, peace out, Guardians.